Will anyone ever surpass Lionel Messi's newly set La Liga goals record? Yes, the middle goal of Lionel Messi's fantastic hat-trick for Barcelona against Sevilla on Saturday night took him past Telmo Thada's all-time La Liga goals record at the age of just 27 as well. It's an absolutely incredible achievement. And it introduced a real celebratory atmosphere to the Camp Nou, something that's been lacking in recent weeks with real tension and questioning of Luis Enrique's position. But it wasn't just about the history of Messi, but uh, modern-day Messi and what he can bring to today's Barcelona because it was about his connection with Neymar. He said set up the vital goal and also Luis Suarez getting involved, having his best game for Barcelona yet and that front three really clicking as they look to go forward. Atletico were at the start of a really big week with the Champions League game against Olympiacos to come on Wednesday. It was really important they got off on the right foot against Malaga on Saturday afternoon, especially as they'd lost their last game before the international break at Real Sociedad who were then managerless of course. So. It was always going to be tough against a team that arrived at the Calderon with the second best defensive record in La Liga, but Atleti put three past them. They looked simultaneously gritty and fluent. Um, another goal from a set piece, obviously, uh, Thiago scoring their 15th La Liga goal from a set piece this season to open the scoring. And Antoine Griezmann, who's going to be really important for them over the winter, looking in great form getting the second goal. It was a challenging La Liga debut for the Moisire at the rainy Riathor against a struggling Deportivo La Coruña, a basement battle with them and Real Sociedad. And La Real started really well. They were excellent in the first half and should have been leading. But after the break, it was a bit more difficult and they had to withstand some pressure to take a point away. Now, there wasn't a lot of criticism of Moyes in the Spanish or Basque press for this because Hagaba Arasate, his predecessor, didn't have the best fitness level in his squad. So it's clear there's work to do over the coming months. But the next game is a real big one against fellow strugglers Elche. Now Valencia's revival is one of the stories of the, the La Liga season so far, but they've got a big test this coming weekend when a Barcelona visit, and they're looking rejuvenated and revitalised, as we were saying ab about that game against Sevilla last weekend. And Nuno and his men have to come back after really surprisingly losing the derby against Levante. Not a great performance from them, but they already have a reference point at the Mestalla this season with that brilliant win earlier in the campaign against Atletico Madrid, the champions. So we've got to see if Negredo, Rodrigo and company have something to show against Luis Enrique and his men. But that's it for this week. Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below or tweet me at Andy Brassel. Don't forget to click to subscribe. Other great content from Germany, France and Italy here on Guardian Football. We're very lucky at La Liga Talking Points this week because we're off to Madrid. So keep your eye out for a bit of extra content over the next little while. We will be back with Talking Points next Monday.